Developing tonight, parents say they have school safety concerns after Thursday's brawl in Bruin country. The Beaumont Independent School District is investigating what it called a large fight that happened at Westbrook High School. An officer had to defuse the situation using pepper spray. And that led to some students and staff being treated by EMS. 12 News reporter Dominique Lay is live at Westbrook with what went down and the safety protocols the district has sent out to parents. Jordan, Leticia, I spoke with the mother of a Westbrook senior today, and after yesterday's fight, she told me that she's scared to send her son to school. But now she's looking for answers from the school on safety. When I walked up to the school, I was kind of panicking, trying to like just lay eyes on my son. That's all I wanted. Brittany Coleman rushed to Westbrook High School from work as soon as she received texts from students and parents about her son being in a fight. When I pulled up, I saw an ambulance, so that scared me. Um, I didn't know who I would see in the ambulance. Was it my son? Her son, who's bruised and cut, told her a fight that started in the bathroom spilled into the busy cafeteria. It was then broken up by an officer with pepper spray. Coleman wants parents to also be held accountable and for the school to take more action. Make sure that there's more BMT, ISD police or security, anybody that they need. There needs to be more hands on in that cafeteria, um, especially the restrooms. Those I think those should be monitored regularly. But safety protocols at the campus are in place. Just this past November, Superintendent Shannon Allen sent out this notice to parents. They're partnering with BPD for more officers, adding security on secondary campuses for monitoring and supervision, and they have a district partnership with Crime Stoppers. But it may not be enough for this scared mother as she's left with one feeling. I was livid yesterday. I was almost inconsolable. I mean, it's ridiculous. These kids can't even get an education. Coleman went to press charges against one student with BISD police, but she says that they told her that because the student wasn't wasn't caught on camera hitting her child, that she won't be able to press charges. For now, in Beaumont, Dominic Lay, 12 News.